Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Growing with me, Manisha, at Ananda Permaculture Farm. Now, it's been a very, very wet summer for us. We've had rains almost continuously since the winter left. And um, apart from battling the heavy monsoons, we've also been trying to grow food under our food forest. And I want to show you today what's growing in my zone one, just outside my kitchen door. Now, in the past, I've often showed you what's growing on the right here, which is my Bhulbhulaya garden. But today I wanted to take you for a walk towards my left which actually is uh, part of the Bulbulaya garden but we tend to call it the mango grove. So let's start by seeing what all is growing here. Um, to start with what we planted here was actually mint because you know it's always useful to have mint growing right outside the kitchen door you might need it anytime and also some holy basil which you can see here but really what's the most uh, prize thing for me in this uh, little area is this little curry patta plant which is growing in the middle and in competition with all this uh, mint it seems to be rising up pretty fast. Now believe it or not this curry patta variety is called BMW curry patta and uh, believe me you the fragrance that one gets out of this leaf is in indeed uh, resembling that of a luxury car. This is actually a quinoa tree and uh, it's grown quite a bit this year. It's still not fruiting but we are hoping that it will start fruiting next year. Uh, it's really nicely stacked up to get the uh, you know the light in the morning. Uh, being shorter than the mango trees at the back, it's positioned in the correct place in the garden. So these are the typical papaya circles that we have in almost every garden and remember these papaya circles also come in handy to manage our waste and also our wastewater. Now these two circles that you see here behind me is where all the water from our outdoor kitchen as well as our washing machine comes out. The colocasia or arbi that you see growing within the pit is self-seeded. And apart from these uh, papaya trees which are a year old and uh, fruiting very nicely, there are also smaller papaya plants which we have planted this year. But just look how wonderfully well these papayas are doing. Uh, they're just a year old. Yeah, so nice and big and uh, luckily uh, they aren't ripening already because at the moment we are busy eating the mangoes. What you're seeing above me is actually the last of the mangoes. This is uh, Totapari. Almost all the trees here are uh, Totapari and we'll be eating these mangoes the last. This haldi has been sent to me by one of our followers, Radhika Ravi Chandran. She was nice enough to ask if I have Ambe haldi growing here and I told her we don't. So she said, okay, let me send you a bunch, which she did. And it's really doing really nicely here. And I think once uh, I get this crop, then I'll have more seed and I can actually expand the plot and grow more of it next year. Okay, what we see here at the back is Galgal, which is actually the hill lemon. And uh, you can see that it's pretty much laden with fruit. Uh, this will all ripen around the months of uh, November, but it seems to be doing pretty well. You'll see a few uh, blue flowers on it. That's the blue pea flower which was actually planted on the fence uh, beyond it, but it seems to have climbed up and actually um, is taking the support of the hill lemon. And uh, to my left here, you will see the uh, custard apple tree. Uh, you can see the custard apple fruit is starting to form. And uh, on, the, on the floor, you can see a uh, pumpkin vine, which is uh, snaking its way through the ground. And... Um, Luckily now it's been a bit sunny for the last week or so and that's the reason why these vines have managed to grow quite a bit. You can see here on the ground that there is a swale that we've built here. This swale actually holds back a lot of the water which comes rushing down this slope. This uh, garden is crisscrossed by a bunch of swales which help to manage the water and you know not let it rush uh, downstream. 
very very useful for us to have these wells. All this is ginger. Now, ginger is not really uh, something that grows here in this area, but we have successfully managed to grow ginger for the past two seasons. And this is the third season that we are growing ginger from our own seed. And I've planted a small patch here so that I have access to it from the kitchen. But we also have a larger patch growing in uh, what we call Kadamba. Our soils are well mulched. You can see all the wood chips lying on it. And of course, it's always nice to dig in and see just how sweet smelling and wonderful the soil has now become. So right here in the middle of all the ginger, I've just planted a new lemon tree. This is one of those big floppy, uh, big sized lemons, um, which I thought would be very useful to have just outside the kitchen for making nimbupani when guests arrive unannounced. So, um, like I told you, there are lots of swales in this garden. This is another one right here. Uh, you can see uh, some of them have also got cut by the recent rains. And uh, up there, if you, uh, if you look at that entire bunch of sediment, you can see that silty soil lying there uh, in, that, in that bed is all the soil which has come with the water. But you won't see any damage here. You will find that, you know, the water is all gone to the soil, everything is green, all our crops are fine and that's the beauty of having good water management systems and spongy soils which are built with the help of trees. So all the water that we've been receiving has actually been going into the ground and we continue to use that water from that sponge for many months to come. Some more self-seeded colocasia and just see how big these leaves are like that's almost like some kind of a elephantine variety but uh, self-seeded arbi is always the best you get like really big bunches of arbi out of each and every plant so this is the edge we have some bananas growing here and uh, and there's another banana circle growing right there it was my desire at the beginning of this season that, you know, this place should look uh, sort of bursting with life. It should have dense vegetation, things that we need from the kitchen. And I think I've met all my goals. It's really looking nice and bright. Uh, we have very useful things growing here. And at the same time, we are managing to control the water which comes down the hill very well with the help of all our swales. So all in all, it's a great, um, well-designed permaculture system. And uh, yeah, thank you for coming along with me on this little walk. Uh, we have a lot of red ants around here and some of them seem to be biting me and my cameraman. So I'm going to call it quits now and uh, see you again soon on another episode of What's Going. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.